Okay, moving right along. Today is the 10, the 10th lesson of the 21 Days to Optimal Health Quick Start Program by How Nutrition. So today uh, we are going to talk about energy and mental clarity. Okay, we're going to talk about caring for your nervous system. We're going to talk about four different approaches that you can take to help care for your nervous system for increased energy. We're gonna talk about uh, how you can get less toxins in your body and that will give you more energy. And then we'll have a little uh, assignment at the end, okay? So let's get started. So basically, when you have less toxins in your body, you end up having more energy, okay? As we've talked about in the, in the past, the past uh, lessons, um, stress leads to toxins. Stress can lead to free radicals. Um, there are toxins in our water supply. There are toxins in the air. They're everywhere. There are toxins in food. There are toxins created. Toxins created when we go out to eat, and food is cooked at a temperature that creates toxins. So it's really hard to control all of it it's just everywhere but uh, we can do our best to minimize it as much as we can so you know to start with that we're going to talk about taking care of your nervous system So, taking care of your nervous system can help you restore and replenish your energy stay focused without the caffeine jitters and feel calm and relaxed so you can get the rest you need when you need it so here are four approaches to help care for your nervous system for increased energy. Here's the first one. Strengthen the nervous system with herbs such as burdock, dandelion, ginkgo, nettle, oaks, and Siberian ginseng. Okay. Another one. Encourage calm and relaxation with chamomile, valerian, lemon balm, and oats. Okay, number three. Explore coffee alternatives such as yerba mate, green root, or, sorry, green tea, black tea, or rubios, which is African red bush. And that'll help you avoid the caffeine jitters. Calcium also has a soothing effect on the nervous system. Eat calcium-rich food for dinner such as leafy greens or a bone broth. If you take a calcium supplement, take it with dinner to help ease you into the evening. So less toxins gives you more energy. Reducing toxic load turns out to have a lot to do with increasing your energy level. Our body has to use a lot of energy to process the environmental toxins that we come into contact with and ingest every single day. If we reduce our body's workload and therefore energy expenditure in processing and eliminating toxins, we'll have more energy for just about everything else. Reducing your toxic load can help also reduce brain fog and boost our immune system, in turn increasing our productivity. It can also help improve our digestion, absorption, and assimilation of nutrients making them more available to support our daily activities. So I talked about in um, day eight assignment, the five tips that'll help you reduce your toxic load. So you can look back at that. So for, for today, I want you to write down one thing that you're gonna start doing today to take care of your nervous system. Maybe it's adding some herbal teas into your day or making sure you eat more calcium rich food, especially during dinner to help soothe the nervous system. That's all for today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care.